Hey guys, welcome to another video. Donovan here with DonnieDisperse.com and today I'm gonna to be showing you my super cheap and simple sleeping platform that I have in my Subaru, but you can probably make it work for almost any vehicle. My name's Donovan Thurman. Join me and my dog Remy as we travel off the beaten path in my trusty old Subaru. So the foundation of this sleeping platform is basically just another one of these spare tire covers. And I went to the junkyard and grabbed one. Unfortunately, they didn't have one from this same year Outback. I thought it would be nice to add the same kind of style one and have it look like one continuous piece. They just didn't have one, so I grabbed this one from a newer Outback. Uh, but it works just as fine. So the whole thing just kind of lifts out and I'll show you some more details outside the car. So what's cool about this actual panel is that it's made out of Alumalite. The original one for this, for my year of car is made out of plastic, but it works just the same. So all I had to do was add a couple pieces of two by four. This was just two by four left over. You know, a lot of people have scraps in their garage. So these were free, but you could grab a pre-cut section of two by four for just a couple bucks. So I basically just took my measurements based off of the area where my back seat used to be, cut these to size, cut this one on the back, and I added a couple big heavy screws, lag bolts really, into the bottom, and they hook into a couple loops that the uh, original seat backs hooked into. So that's kind of what keeps it from moving around too much, and then these are just the support for the extra weight. And I just leave it in there all the time. This definitely isn't gonna work if you need your back seats all the time if you're traveling with your family, but uh, for me, this was perfect because it's just me and the dog and it still gave me a little bit of storage underneath whereas if I just folded my back seats down, I lost all that storage in the footwell. That still allowed me to have storage in the back seat footwell and I can still slide some things under here like uh, blankets and my sleeping bag and stuff I'll slide under here and kind of whatever else I need to tuck in there. But really, this is it. $10 tire cover from the junkyard and a couple pieces of two x four. And that's my sleeping platform. And it's as simple as that. Now I'll go ahead and throw it back in there and show you kind of how I have it set up. Now you'll probably notice that there is a little bit of a gap or a step right here. Um, that's just my mistake and measurements and things. Um, you could easily fix that, but my sleeping pad is so thick that I don't even feel it. And also sometimes I lay my big thick sleeping bag down first, my sleeping pad on top of that, if it's too warm that I don't need my sleeping bag. Okay. By the way, this sleeping pad is awesome. This is a Thermarest Dreamtime sleeping pad. It is freaking awesome. It's a little bit expensive, but I like it. It's got this fleece liner that you can zip off and throw in the wash machine. There's a little foam pad on top of here and then the air mattress underneath that. So it's very, very comfortable, especially when you blow it up all the way. It's awesome. Highly recommended. As far as like bedding goes, I just use whatever the temperature uh, requires. Sometimes I can just use a blanket. I have a lighter sleeping bag down there and I've got my big minus 30 sleeping bag as well. Just depends on what the weather's like. So the thing I like most about this simple sleeping platform isn't just that it's cheap, but it gives you a lot more headroom. Um, I can promise you that after spending a lot of time trapped inside the car from bad weather and whatnot, you'll be grateful to have just a little bit more headroom. To just sit up is amazing <laughs> if you've been stuck laying down for a long time. But that's it, that's my super simple, cheap sleeping platform. I've been using it for a year and I've been super happy with it. Uh, so hopefully this video gave you guys some ideas. Go ahead and leave a comment down below if you have uh, some different sleeping situation ideas and uh, I will see you guys on the next video. If you like to follow along with the rest of our adventures make sure to subscribe and to make sure you don't miss out on any other videos click the notification bell as well.